two days ago, I got a message from Clyde. So that somebody had messaged her on YouTube and said, Clyde, I think that Tanya is dead and I'm worried. So I'm here to clear up a couple of things. One, not dead, very much alive. Two, I do not live with my mother. Thank you, Clyde. Um, although this brings me to my list of excuses of why I not have been on YouTube. Yes, I did move across the country. Kind of a big deal. Not a great excuse, because I did that two months ago. Second excuse, I've been looking for a job. Third point is, I've been looking for an internship, which I got one. Thank you very much. And four, I've been doing missionary work, which is obviously a complete fucking lie. Excuses aside, I'm here, I'm queer, I'm drinking wine. Let's answer some questions. I'm very happy to be back. I just, you know, I moved across the country and things kind of got away from me. I thought everything was just going to be perfect and smooth sailing when I came back. And instead, instead I kind of got myself into a rut like I do. And now I'm on the upswing, so I'm back and happy about it. I'm back and I'm happy about it. So let's be clear about that. So since my B, I haven't been around, I haven't really got any questions, so I'm improvising here a little bit. One of the questions that Clyde answered is, how much masturbation is too much masturbation? And like her, I would say, you know, stop when it hurts. If you masturbate too much, the area can get a little irritated. It can. Keep your sex toys clean though. All you have to do is wash them with warm soap and water. Throw them in the dishwasher, unless you live with your parents. Don't do that. If you don't keep them clean, you can get an infection. That's the truth of the matter. And I guess I would say if masturbation impedes your daily life, like if you're late to work because you're masturbating or you're missing class because you're masturbating, then you might want to reassess the amount that you masturbate. The second question was why is butt sex considered so taboo in American culture? And I have a funny story about butt sex. Um, let me explain before you get an ideas in your head. You know the drinking game, Never Have I Ever, where you start off with like a certain amount of fingers and if you've done it, you have to put a finger down and you're out when all your fingers are down and people are like, oh, never have I ever kissed a girl and so on and so forth. I mean, nobody likes to talk about butt sex. It's true. I, First of all, I do feel compelled to say I have that's an off-limits area for myself personally. But we were all drinking. It was like a huge group of us. It was my birthday. And um, when you put your finger down, you had to like take a swig of whatever you're drinking. And so somebody goes, oh, I never have I ever had butt sex. And then one of our really good friends just started guzzling her beer. And we we're like, what? Uh, oh, oh, all right then. All right. Do I have a problem with butt sex? No. Will I engage in any sort of activity that involves that part of my body? Probably not. No. People aren't too interested or keen on things that are unfamiliar to them, so if that's your uh, thing, then uh, bottoms up. Pun intended. I just tried to look through my inbox because since I haven't been around, nobody's really been asking questions. And the most recent question that I got was, hi, you're hot. Can you make a kissing makeout video? Yeah, I'm going to get right on that. I'm going to make a kissing makeout video, whatever the hell that means. So stay tuned for that. That should be fun. Anyways, I really hope that some of you have stuck with us throughout this little kind of break. Um, please send us questions and such, and we'll get back to it on a weekly basis. Um, hi, Clyde. I've missed you so much. Clyde and I should talk more about how magical our visit was, because it was really two days of pure bliss. Long live the log flume ride at the Mall of America, is all I have to say. Anyways, I've missed you guys, and I hope that you continue to comment and subscribe to us and ask us those questions that nobody else will answer, because that's what we're here for. Have a wonderful turkey day, and tell me what you're doing below. Bye.